and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to show you a great little tool called Auto Runs. It was developed by a former company called Sys Internals, which has been since built out by Microsoft. But uh, this person here was a key developer to a lot of these programs, including Auto Runs. And if you want to speed up your computer, this is a good little tool to use. If you're annoyed by all those programs that start, you don't know how they got in, got in there, this is a great program to use because what it does is gives you a snapshot of the registry and a lot of things is happening behind the scenes including a lot of the programs that start at runtime while the computer starts or while you log in so if you want to download auto runs what you do is just do a search on auto runs and you'll come to technet.microsoft that's the easiest way to do it you just download it. it's a very small install and then what you do is you go ahead and install it and you're going to have a couple, this is all there is, you have a couple options here. You can use a command line option, or you can just use the uh, non-command line option, which I've done here. And I've already double-clicked on it and ran it. And as you can see, by the way, it's a very tiny little program, but it packs a powerful punch. So here I've done, I've opened up auto runs. You can see there's tons and tons of information here. And what's really cool is it's actually showing you a snapshot of your registry here. So Typically, what I do is I go into the registry by going to start and then, of course, going here and typing in regedit. But this is a much easier way to do it, a less riskier way so you don't actually screw up your registry on your Windows box here. Of course, I am still using Windows XP, <laughs> like many of us. So let's take a look here very briefly. You can see all the different tabs here. It gives you a snapshot of the different things that are happening. Like I said, we're going to look at the registry here for log on and what's running there. But of course, you have things in Explorer, all the settings in Internet Explorer. You have scheduled tasks here. So you can just simply click on that and say, I no longer want that scheduled task, et cetera, et cetera. So just take a look at your own time. Let's go back to log on here. So scroll up here a little bit, and this will show you current version run, this means regardless of who's logging on, as soon as that computer starts, these are all the programs that are running. And a lot of these are going to have legitimate use, but then again, a lot of them are not going to be required when your computer starts up. So, you know, there's a lot of poor software designers out there, and what they'll do is start the programs behind the scenes so that when you actually launch them, they'll launch much faster. Now, I would argue this is a really poor design. QuickTime and Adobe Reader are two culprits that constantly do that. And it's really annoying because not only that, they're actually using lots of memory in your in your computer as well. So not only do they makes your computer take a long time to start up, it also has all these things running in the background as well. So let's look at some of the processes here. See, you can tell these are all different processes. If I'm running more things, of course, is using more memory. You can see all these things here add up over, over time. So what you need to do is just look at here and look for the more obvious things, low hanging fruit here. If you're not sure what it is, then you know what, probably best not to uncheck it. Another cool thing is this is a good place for viruses to hang out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unclick this quick time task. That's really annoying to me. So that means next time that starts, meaning my computer starts, that won't be started. I've already been through here before. The other place you want to look at is current version run for the hotkey current user. So if you go back up here again, this is for local machines. So that means these are always going to start when the machine starts. This one means since it's hard key current user means only when that specific user, which is the one I'm logged in as right now, these things will start. So this one is really annoying as well. I, I don't know why these programs insist or these companies insist on putting this stuff in without asking you, but it did. So I'm going to uncheck that because I don't want Yahoo Messenger starting when I log in. So once again, this is a great way to make your computer faster and start up and also limit the amount of memory your computer is using. So my last word I would say is use it with caution because if you don't know what it's for, then don't uncheck until you do additional research. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video.